The Arlington police shooting video is graphic. We have excluded some of the more disturbing parts, but viewer discretion is still advised. The video shows the Arlington officer talking with the driver who was killed, O'Shea Terry, and Terry's passenger during a traffic stop. The officer smelled marijuana and questioned the two men about that. Terry suddenly starts the SUV and hits the gas despite the officer telling him to stop. The officer hangs onto the window while standing on the running board and fires five shots. A handgun and drugs were found in the SUV after the shooting. First on Fox 4 News at 10, Allison Harris at the Arlington Police Department with the deadly police shooting investigation. Allison. Clary's Arlington police pulled over 24-year-old O'Shea Terry. He was with a friend. They were in the 2400 block of California Lane around 145 on Saturday afternoon. The two officers say that they smelled marijuana inside the vehicle. Terry told them that it was a joint. The officers let him know that they would need to search his vehicle. One of the officers went back to their cop car to run their information. The other officer, whose body cam video you see, stood at the side of the SUV. You notice Terry put his hand on the window controls before the incident happens. You are? Okay, what are you upset about? It's hot. It's hot? Well, I'm staying outside here. <laughs> you know? Like I say, if you don't have any more in, inside the vehicle, y'all should be worried about it. You know? We just have to do what we have to do. So that's basically it. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, stop! Sir. Hey. This all starts with the officer asking Terry what he is upset about. Terry takes a moment, then he starts to roll up the window. The officer grabs the window and says, hey, stop. At that time, the officer also jumped onto the runners of the SUV, so he's on the vehicle. You hear Terry start the SUV as the officer continues to tell him, to stop. Terry says, I ain't giving up, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Then hits the gas. Almost immediately, the officer starts shooting into the vehicle. Terry's friend, the passenger, is yelling for Terry to stop. Eventually, the SUV crashes out and the officer falls off and rolls onto the street. Now, there is another video from the patrol car dash cam. Terry was taken to the hospital after this, where he died. His friend, the passenger, was not shot. Terry does have a criminal history. Between 2012 and 2016, he pleaded guilty to burglary of a building, two charges of possession of marijuana, and evading arrest. Police say inside the SUV, when they searched, they found a Glock, an extended 29 round magazine, marijuana, and ecstasy. Now, the officer who shot and killed him is on administrative leave right now. We asked Arlington police why they released this video. It's been less than a week since this incident. They say that is all for transparency. They want the public to be able to see what happened and decide for themselves about what they think about this incident. Clarice. Allison Harris at the Arlington Police Department. Thank you. Now, let's go to Fox 4 reporter Blake Hansen. He talked tonight with O'Shea Terry's family attorney. And Blake, what did they say about the video? Oh, Clarice, uh, we had talked initially on Sunday with Terry's mother, Shirley Woods. At the time, she was not happy with the information that she was getting. Tonight, Arlington police, including the police chief himself, came to the family's house to show that video to them, the body camera footage. Now the family believes that their concerns over what happened were justified and they want charges. Now, Terry's family is being represented by Lee Merritt, a prominent local civil rights attorney. He spoke with us tonight alongside Woods. Now, they say that the officer could have simply stepped back. It is their opinion after watching the video that the officer was at no point in danger. Now, they say even after the officer moves his hand to the window of the car, they still believe that his life was not in danger. And tonight, the family believes, based on what they know so far and based on what they have seen on the video, that the DA will take this to a grand jury and get a criminal indictment. I don't think the officer was ever in any danger. He didn't even put himself in a dangerous situation. Um, there was no danger for the officer. A car that's driving away doesn't pose any danger. In fact, a Dallas County jury just determined that in the case of Roy Oliver, he shot up at a car that was leaving. Uh, because he didn't want it to leave. Here that mention of Roy Oliver at the end, that the former Balt Springs police officer, he was just recently convicted of murder for firing into a car that had a 15-year-old boy inside, killing that 15-year-old 
as that car was pulling away from Oliver and his partner. Now, Merritt says in addition to believing that there could be uh, criminal charges in this case, they're also awaiting the Arlington Police Department's investigation, what that turns up, and they'll also pursue a civil case as well, Clarice.